Bay Area Compass. Located at bayareacompass.blogspot.com. Jay Area! Jay Area! What's easy, keep it your boy down here, giving that fire content. Once again, I'm representing Bay Area Compass. I'm with my boy, Jay Thurston. Uh, what's up, what's up? Right, I appreciate you joining the platform. Thank you for having How me How are you here. doing today, man? I'm good, I'm good. Good, glad to have you here, bro. Listen to this, the project King Season, man. Highly fuck with it, bro. Um, fuck with it. I, that means a lot. That means a lot. It's a big project for me. Of course, so. bro. So, your sound is a little bit different than what I've been hearing recently. You know what I mean? I feel like some people have kind of been on that more mainstream wave. They kind of just been copying other rappers. Yeah. But when I hear you, I don't know what to expect when I hear the next song. Yeah. So, where's your mindset that you go into creating some of these tracks? Do you want each song to be different, or do you have a different vibe for every track you go into? I'm I'm like I'm a I'm a huge vibe person. Like. Uh, I feel like art is art is an explosion. It 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 literally shouldn't have a form. It shouldn't be bounded or, or binded by like or restricted in any kind of way. You know, like I one day I feel this way, the next day I feel a whole different way, and all of those feelings are valid. So, like so long as I can get to you know a pen and pad or my phone to you know type down lyrics or a mic to record, like. That's that's me. Even if the next day I don't feel the exact same way, like that was still me. So yeah, that's why all of my projects they all they all have a like a large variety in sound. It might have some like like some hard you know damn near borderline gangster rap kind of like sound to it, and then it it flips over to like some pop kind of like some electro like it mm-hmm. it just. I just I like all music. I like all art. So you're not trying to keep yourself into like one genre. You have to feel like you have to be stuck exactly. in Exactly, that's you know like I mean? torture as an artist to just be condensed into yeah. like, oh, you you're supposed you're from here. You should sound like this. It's like, well, yeah. That's why that's why I always wonder uh, worry about like if you do make it as a rapper, it's hard for people to see you as anything else but. Yeah. You know oh yeah. I mean? so, oh yeah. I I notice with a lot of artists, it's like you get kind of. They get kind of like stuck in that, like, okay, where at what point do I stop creating? At what point do I I focus only on catering to the fan base I've created? You know, like, and so you don't want to get like I don't want to get stuck in that position where I'm questioning my creativity because I don't think that my audience is gonna take to it. It's like, yeah, it, that's like you don't want to make music because you're like, oh, I hope my audience likes exactly. it. You exactly. You want to make music and be like, oh, I wonder how my audience is gonna respond to this. They so gonna understand right. what I'm trying to come across. Like a song. like a Kanye West. Like mm-hmm. every one of those projects is significantly yeah. different, and it's like, yeah, oh, we want the old Kanye, and I love the old Kanye, but yeah. it's like you gotta respect someone who just continuously continues yeah. to create and evolve and create exactly. and evolve. You can't say the same. I mean, yeah. People say they want to hear the old, you know, so and so. Yeah. But the old so and so has already been done. They, so, thank you. If yeah. you want to hear that person, go buy my old stuff. Like Jay Z said, you want to hear the old, <laughs> go buy my old album. Yeah, it's like, on yeah. Apple Music. You, yeah, you, yeah, right, you right. Can download, you can download that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Someone, how long have you been doing the music? Uh, I've been doing music since. I think it's been like seven years, seven eight years. years now. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Long time. Long time. So what are like the biggest differences from starting from seven, eight years ago Oof. to now? Oof. Uh, getting yourself out there, uh, just the confidence level, the work ethic, mm-hmm. and just the knowledge of, you know, like the things that you have to do to, you know, maintain your relevancy and get like get your, get your voice heard, get your name, mm-hmm. you know, known like it's – it's way different. I remember my first, my first project. First off, I started with a group, and like th- these are my close, close friends, and yeah. we, uh, like we didn't knock it out the park initially, <laughs> yeah. and like a lot of people kind of like fell off because of that. Um, but they're still super supportive and mm-hmm. everything. But then, uh, like when I when I got to the point where I was like, I want to drop a project. My first project I dropped was uh, it's called Premonition. It's a uh, my first little album, and I was. I was so heartbroken, like, the day that I dropped it. I just randomly picked the day. It was on Hot New Hip Hop. It had a little timer and everything counting mm-hmm. down. The day it drops, uh, Kendrick drops uh, no. uh, Control. Oh. And that's all anyone could talk about. Oh, no. Me yeah. being so, like, so new to everything, I'm thinking, like, 
Oh man, that took any possible shine. I'm, like that's a whole yeah. different echelon of exactly. artists. Like it, realistically, Kendrick that, could have came out a week after. Yeah, yeah. That, that that has nothing to do. I'm a, this is my first project. No yeah. one's checking for me at this point. Yeah. But it was like I that was a confidence. Oh, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh man, like sh- I can't even get out the gates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to talk to you uh, more about promotion. Because I feel like that's where people either succeed very highly in or they mess up. Yeah, yeah. You know, completely messed up. Because I like, like, your music is good. You know what I mean? But, you know, I feel like it needs to get pushed out there. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? So how, what are the methods that you maybe you can, you know, talk to the viewers? Or how do you think people can start pushing their music that don't necessarily have a huge social media following? Or, right, you know what I right. Mean? So a, a couple, like, being from the Bay Area, it's like, your head always has to be on a swivel because there's a lot of people that are, you know, they make a living off of kind of getting, getting over on, on yeah, streamers person. on. Yeah, yeah. Like, and so like there are some people that have, you know, methods of promotion and stuff, but like, if you're dealing with people like that, I suggest like checking into actual results and not just going off of, yeah, this person knows this person. Yeah. This person's in pictures with these people that, have, that yeah. says nothing about what they could bring to, um, and then just individually, like constantly releasing material, connecting with your audience, like, and not getting discouraged. So, so like connecting with the audience, like when people tap in with you, say they like, like they comment on it, they, you know, they have something to say, like engage those people because they're giving you respond e- to comments. Exactly. You know I mean? like answer DMs. Do not be too big for anything like that. And then, um, don't be discouraged by the, like the appearance of like the the local the lack of a local taking to what you're doing because realistically, uh, what I've noticed is local comes latest. Yeah, it's uh, almost like local local comes at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it, I mean, pay attention to even like now our our local music fans they they mess with like our local legends. Yeah, but who they really mess with. This all from other places, exactly. like if that. Who's in their playlist look, right look now? Look at what's playing on the radio. Yeah, constantly. yeah. Like, like it's nobody from here. Nobody. Once upon a time, it used to be. Just it used to be artists. some local stuff playing. You used to hear local music. Now it's like you wouldn't think people from the Bay make me. And so much comes out of the Bay. So much. It's like so many people that are behind the scenes for these other artists. There's so many just styles. Just the whole like this is like an art mecca this is like you know and it's Mm -hmm. like it's so weird that it's it doesn't get taken to like that why do you think it doesn't get as much recognition as it deserves i don't know it's just like do you think people kind of like they get to a point where they maybe could bring it up to that level but then they just leave or they go to la or you know they kind of yeah no it's like it's i don't know like some people you see them you see them start bubbling up and getting like some buzz and stuff and then it's just like they just kind of they just kind of like it's like fall whatever. off the scene like it's yeah. like they they don't have the it, it's I don't know it's not a lot of people pushing to break past that that barrier mm-hmm. and really it's like it's like you look at Drake right you know like who would have known about the six exactly thank you before Drake right you know what I mean? right who would even even speak about Drake right you know what I mean like we got forty of course but I mean even forty still o- OG OG yeah 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 you and know we need. It's time to start, and I like I'm a I'm a huge E40 fan. I'm a huge fan of the of the greats. Like I could wrap you out, you know, like a lot of these guys versus and you know, the, I think it's time though that in the Bay Area because it's such a an artistic like I don't know. It's like it's like a a renaissance that hasn't been tapped into. Everyone is people, so people creative. People don't understand it. Yeah. Unless you live here. And once you come here, like people make their own clothes, make their own music, make their own, like, it's just everyone's so artistic. And it's like, I don't know, like, until that gets tapped into, like, it's it's just, it's weird. Like, I feel like the youth, the the younger that we need new names. Yeah. They're discouraged. They're Yeah, like, yeah. They're, because there's some really dope guys. I Like, I talk to, I mess with a lot of artists. These dudes are dope. And currently... I mean, never to speak against someone's, you know, legendary catalogs and like, but currently these guys are doing like they're more creative than the guys that that are, you know, 
that have all I've the attention it. because it's like that's just how things evolve. They grew up listening to these guys. So, you know, things, it gets strong. That's how evolution works. But these guys aren't getting the platform. We don't have, we don't have like, like a Drake. Man, it's, it's one of the dopest things to me about Lil Wayne is that Lil Wayne at the, at the peak of his career still put Drake on, like, was like on everything. He was, it was like, throw Drake on the hook. Drake's on tour. Drake's on, he's like pushing the whole Drake everything and it's like that's most artists wouldn't do that yeah in the middle of when they're the, the they're hottest yeah they don't want to put other people on they don't yeah. they don't so it's like and i think we got a lot we got a lot of people in position that they that could do things with a lot of these you know like with a lot of the younger artists with a lot of the guys that have the talent but don't have the resources i don't think it's happening as much not to say that it's not happening at all mm-hmm. but i i think that it's just something that we have a huge opportunity for it's not, it doesn't feel like it's making a huge impact it, yeah. it might be happening behind the scenes yeah but, but we're, not, we're not seeing it yeah who's yeah. our guy like yeah, who's man. our you look at these regions say, and they have the guy coming it's like who's our guy that's like, like we'll have like waves like you know we had like g-easy yeah you know, yeah like him or hate him you know he was part of the oh band, no you know i'm a I mean? huge g-easy fan yeah. I, I yeah i like i like g-easy yeah, so well, yeah where are they, they you know what i mean like that's that's maybe the most recent one that's just like i don't get it like like it's not to say that they I mean they still have their local following but it and I they clearly haven't I don't think they're they're just dissipated like completely yeah. but I don't see them like they were they were they were they blowing were up huge they were, they were Kendrick Lamar's album exactly you know I mean? like, like and now all of a sudden you have to you know dig exactly now I gotta like, look for them now you know I mean? like it was they were everywhere they were in your face and it's yeah. like oh snap they're, they're gonna be the ones that are and then it's like all them all, and it's like all this extra extra like I don't know politics drama kind of stuff it seems like it's always behind it I don't know I don't I'm not close enough to that situation to know but it's like that sucks that like those dudes were they were like they were huge and then instantly where are they yeah like you know I mean? yeah I feel like we're at a time now you have to capitalize as much as you can yeah. on like if you get that little wave you yeah know, you get oh that yeah little, that viral moment or whatever you gotta carry that until you pretty much pass away yep. because as soon as you slow down no one's gonna be checking for you yeah because we're so in this culture where you just go on to the next one yeah uh, uh, everyone's just ready to just drop. Everyone's ready to drop. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean, uh, like, what's the average rapper's career now? It's like a, a year. They they're yeah, hot yeah. for like a year, yeah, yeah, two yeah. at max. And yeah, it's, yeah. what's funny is it's like, yeah, like you, like you said, you can't. There's no time to to take your time. It's like, how many songs probably just released today? You know, exactly. Like, it's just constantly. It, it's a it's a growing growing machine and. It's also more accessible to people. People are like getting buzzed from making stuff out of their basement exactly. and stuff no like that. Yeah, like so millions of dollars, like an old town road. Right. How it, long did it take him to make it? Not it, long enough to make as much money as he's making. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like that. Like your work ethic towards it has to be like crazy because your competition is not only bigger than it's ever been; it's consistent. It's just growing. So it's like, like you're in. You're trying to stand out in a sea of people that are trying to stand out. Good luck. For real, for real. So, but you, you know, making your music, you're staying true to like how you want to do it. Yeah. Do you, yeah. you find with taking the long road as oh. compared to like you know the short? short oh yeah. Road? Oh yeah. I I believe in, I believe in uh, having a lasting fan base rather than being. Uh, you know, I mean, like a lot of these people, they they get big um based on things outside of outside of their music even Mm -hmm. it's more so about their social celebrity and like their antics that kind of like and it it gets you it gets you this huge buzz and you become a trending topic but then once that fades away which very seldom people stay at that peak for very very long if you're not Lil Wayne if you're not Drake like very few people just are like that guy for mm-hmm. 10 year spans and stuff like um once that dissipates like if there's no if you didn't earn your fan base the the organic, like the way. organic way 
they all just move oh, to the, the next. next exactly. Yeah, it's like you don't have any of those loyal guys, you know. So it's, it's sad because a lot of these artists think that the people who were following them, you know, really did. Yeah. Care yeah. about them or think they were loyal, but it's like, no, nah, bro, we liked you for the dance. Yeah, you were like, just the next big thing. It's like, next month, man. You didn't yep. Have, there's no new dance. Yep. Uh, I can't. I can't mess with you. Man, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that happens sometimes. Like sometimes that that giant hit can be like a downfall. Like like uh, what's the what's the panda panda uh, pan, oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. designer Snyder, the, yeah. that hit was bigger than like you could even imagine. Hasn't but anything else. Better than sense. It's like it sets the bar so high for you can't even grow organically as an artist because your first single was the biggest hit that you might ever make. Like that's, and I mean, good luck to him. He's like I always root for the artists. Yeah. Just like that is a lot of pressure. It's that it's that level of acceptance they have to have as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Some of these artists are they think that they're still that guy. Oh, well, go oh, yeah. Like, oh, you haven't been that guy in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, yeah. just to ever have been that guy in the, the sea of place. people trying to be that guy. Like, like I'm a like, I'm a huge minority in this. Like, I actually like mess with like Bow Wow's. There's oh, some yeah. Bow Wow music that I I used yeah. to mess with. Like, yeah, and, and like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I I. It's just it's you root for him to come into the acceptance yeah. of like you don't when you're not that dude anymore yeah. you were that guy at a young age and it's perfectly fine to like mm-hmm. just be like less that like yeah. there's nothing wrong with it yeah. there's nothing wrong you don't got to like make everybody think that you're the hottest dude in the yeah. game no one's the hottest forever. Exactly. And so. you're famous, too. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, thank you. Well, you've been famous since you came out the womb. Since you, you know were a I mean? kid. Like, like a little like, kid. Yes. Like, yeah, that's... I watching... What, he, that was like Little Romeo, right? Or, he... Or no. No. That was, he, that was actually... Th- that was yeah. Romeo is masterpiece son. Okay, Bow Wow yeah. had a show. I swear he had a show. And nah, uh, that that was Romeo. I think I think Romeo had a show. But Bow had the movie. He had the like mic. And like mic, yeah, the, yeah, classic. And it's like it's like yeah. Don't let these people, don't let these people pressure you into thinking that you're somehow, like like not not adequate like because you're not at that peak that you were at. Like yeah. a lot of these people that are passing that judgment and. Oh, Bow Wow Challenge and all that. So they never even reached that peak that you got to. It's exactly. crazy that they're able to pass that judgment and they never got there, you know? So exactly. it's like, yeah. And even like, though it's a negative life for this Bow Wow Challenge, I don't know how he felt about it, but that's your people saying your name all over the world. Oh, again. man. You it made him I mean? trending. Like, he got, trending, he got yeah. real trendy for like, a second. Well, before that ahead. challenge, well, who was talking about Bow Wow? No you know one. No, I mean? one. no one. It was pretty funny, too. Like, that fake, he just did a stock photo. Oh, really? Oh, man. Really, bro? I was, I was, Come on, man. I was like, oh, man, they're going in on this like guy. the first like, Google image. Like, <laughs> couldn't even be, like, on page 30 or something. I was, like, man, I was crossing my fingers, like, find a way out of this, man. <laughs> now he always has an excuse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's get back to a little bit about the music you've been doing, man. Yeah. So in five years, where would you want to see you're at? Um, in the best case scenario. Best case scenario, I I definitely want my brand to be recognizable for you know different aspects. Like I want to diversify and you know get into other things. But like I want, obviously, you want your music to to grow and reach as many people as possible. But I would like to I would like to go, to also get involved with, you know, other people that are up and coming that are, you know, maybe being misled or just don't have any know how or so you wanna you know, be a mentor to somebody. Yeah, people. most definitely. Most definitely because I like I said, I just I feel like there's just this I don't know, it's just this big pool of talent that nobody is cultivating. Like mm-hmm. no one's putting any like it's almost like it needs to be like that guy who's like, I see what you can do, and let me see what we can do to help. Yeah, bring out the best. Exactly. Of Where all these people have these talents, but it's like they're all grinding on themselves yeah. trying to find out what they can do. What's yeah. Like, what can I do? My hustles, you know. Even like me, like what you, we're just doing this. Like we don't have no guidance. Right. right. We don't exactly. Have anybody, like, we're just free freestyling. Just, really. We're not, we're not yeah. like anybody been like, hey. Thirsty and get into the booth. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, hey, Jules, I, make sure you get the interviews this I, week. Like, I'm my manager mean? and my PR and all that. I'm all that. Yeah. Exactly. Like, so yeah. it's like. <laughs> so, and a lot of these people in generation don't have a drive to do anything creative. They don't. You know they don't. Mean? They don't. And they, like, a lot of us, like, us, 
it's our generation on down, like millennials on down. It's like we think that things, we feel entitled to things. We think things are just going to come to us. And it's like more likely you're going to you're gonna run into more people that are envious of your potential than you are like people that are going to help cultivate, you know, what, what you could possibly do. More likely you're going to run into someone who's like, oh, I see what he could do. I don't want him to do that because yeah. now it makes me feel a way. I feel like less of a person when I see you ascend to it, yeah. you know? So it's like, yeah, it's just, and I think people, I think people should be put on to that and like be, be wary of, you know, like. And not have that mentality of like, oh, I wish I could do that. Yeah. And actually do oh, it. Oh, man. You know I mean, there's so many people who's like, man, I don't, I want to be able to do what you do. Man, uh, you know. that's the, ooh, the, when you get caught looking at other other people's you know like that's one thing like with social media and everything that's made things a little harder to you know to feel like you're excelling or to you know like stay motivated but you always see like everyone's highlight reel yeah. everyone's just doing so damn good it's like weren't you just yeah. in jamaica and now you're exactly. in columbia and you're like, asking like why am i not happy right, like, they, why is that not happening yeah. for me why, why are you at the parties you got the fancy car and the, all like all the people at you and the it's like yeah uh, it's just it it literally tears apart and that's not just with art and entrepreneurism it's that's literally with just life. Yeah. You could be doing pretty dang good for yourself and feel like you're not doing anything Most right. people do. I mean, the, think about all these celebrities that, you know, you, they should be the happiest of happy people in our eyes, but they're still upset. Exactly. It shows you that no matter what you strive for, if you can't be happy in your own skin or what you're doing, then... You're not gonna be happy reaching for the gold. Yeah. You're reaching for. Yeah. You know what I mean, I mean, like everyone that's uh, been involved with this album, uh, all the features. Uh, I had Gully on there. It's my second time working with Gully. Um, super talented dude. I had uh, GP Butterfield, guy from uh, SoCal. Um, super talented. Everyone I everyone I mess with, I am a huge fan of. Like I got like one of productions from DJ Fresh. Um, it's like legendary bay area producer you know uh uh, i got uh, most of my production is from petrovsky he's all the way in the ukraine like that's like we just met randomly and you know he's like my main go-to guy like that's like and that's just i don't know like so everyone that i've i've messed with i mess with for a reason i'm a fan of everyone that i like have on this album everyone that i've worked with so big shouts out to all you guys, um, and like I, I want to like, I want to stress like give like give turn an ear to some of our indie people like some of these younger guys that are coming up like uh, there's this one guy uh, Lou Lou he's just he was dope. just here oh pff, yeah. dope he's dope yeah I've been trying to put people on him uh, outrageous Karina uh, let me think. Uh, Manny Main, uh, like there's these, there's just, there's so many untapped pieces of talent, mm-hmm. Harris the know it all, uh, that I, I don't know. I just, I feel like if eyes turn to them, the culture grows. The culture is like literally capped right now in the Bay. The music culture is capped. It, the culture grows if you turn the eyes to the right people, the, the creatives that are like bold enough to create. We so can make that community that we've been lacking and maybe even be, you know, bigger than what we even thought it could be. Exactly. 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 All right, brother. I appreciate you joining the podcast. Hey, man. Thank man. you for having me. Thank make you sure for you having me. Check out King Season on SoundCloud, JT Thurston. Make sure you peep him on Instagram as well, King Season. It's your boy Don Julio. I'm out. Peace.